On the health watch tonight, hearing aids are not cheap, so it can be frustrating when they don't work or fit well, or like I said, work as they're supposed to. Yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah. As Elliot Polikoff shows us, one Arizona company is using a variety of groundbreaking hearing technologies to change the way they're used. When you can't understand somebody, uh, it's hard to know what they want. After a lifetime spent in sawmills and around aviation technology, Scottsdale resident Ron Maru's hearing started to go south in his late 30s. When he transitioned to a sales job later in life, he realized how bad his hearing had become. I was even doing to the point of recording my customers what we were talking about so I could hear you know, what they were saying. Traditionally, hearing aids have involved a silicone ear mold. These often work fine, but they don't account for pockets and ear canals that can impact the long-term fit. You don't really get the full dynamic. Uh, when we take a digital representation, it's collecting it pretty much as it truly is. Dustin McMinn is the co-owner of Belltone West, the only company in the state certified to use the Lantos 3D ear scanning system. Part of that is due to price. These scanning machines cost about 15 grand, but McMinn thinks it's worth it for the safety they provide. Getting an ear, a standard ear impression with the silicone material, uh, even remotely this deep, is very difficult to do, very risky as well. Um, you have chances of hurting the patient. So in television, we use something called an IFB when we're out in the field to better hear the newscast remotely. But this Lantos 3D technology, it wouldn't just help with those who might need hearing aids. It would also help us in terms of having a more snug fit on our earpiece. And soon, Lantos won't be the only new hearing aid technology available to Arizonans. This upcoming Friday, Jabra over-the-counter hearing aids will be the first FDA-approved product available to the general public. It's kind of lowering the barrier to entry for people who have mild hearing loss. The Jabra technology might be too little too late for someone like Ron, but after using the Lantos technology for his latest set of hearing aids, he's already noticed a difference. It's not going to come back to normal, but I'm, I'm very comfortable. I can live with it. In Scottsdale, Elliot Polikoff, Arizona's family.